Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're told that one method of calculating the approximate age of a tree is to multiply the diameter of the tree by a constant called the growth factor, which is going to be different for every species because every tree grows at a different rate. We are given in this table the growth factors for eight species of trees. And we are told that we have a white birch tree and a pin oak tree that now have a diameter of one foot. And the rest of this problem we're dealing in inches, so let's just say right now they're both 12 inches, since that's equal to one foot. And we're asked which of the following would be closest to the difference in inches of their diameters 10 years from now. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the age of these trees. So they're going to be different because a tree that grows really fast is going to be younger than a tree that grows really slow if they're the same size, right? So we have a white birch tree, so the age, we're told, you can find by multiplying the diameter of the tree by the growth rate, or the growth factor. So for the birch, we know that the age is equal to the diameter, which is 12 inches for both of these, times its growth factor. So the growth factor for white birch is 5.0, or just 5. So the age of this birch is 12 times 5, or 60. Now, we are asked what is the diameter 10 years from now. So 10 years later, it's going to be 60 plus 10 is 70. So if 70 is equal to this, the new diameter, let's call it D, times 5 is still the growth rate. right? So the age is equal to the diameter times the growth rate. If we divide both sides by 5, these fives cancel, and we get d is equal to 70 divided by 5, which is 14. So 10 years from now, the white birch will be 14 inches. And we have to do that again for the pin oak. Similar thing, we know the age is equal to the diameter, which again is 12 inches for both of them, times its growth factor, which is different. For a pin oak, it's 3.0, or just 3. So the age is 12 times 3, or 36. So adding 10 to this, we're looking for the diameter when it's 46. So age is 46, is equal to di diameter, let's call it D, times the growth factor, which is still 3. And dividing both sides by 3 to get the diameter of this one, get D is equal to 46 divided by 3, which is 15 and 1 third, which is going to be 0.3 repeating. So the difference in inches of their diameters is 15.33 repeating minus 14. And this difference is going to be 1 and then 0.3 repeating. So which of these is closest to that? Well, it's in between 1.3 and 1.4, but 1.333 repeating is closer to 1.3, so C is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.